the left hand lift cylinder on this loader was leaking and so I'm going to replace the sills with the cylinder remaining on the tractor here. I made my own support bracket by chopping a piece of angle iron to length, lifting the loader and then lowering the loader onto it so that it's supporting the weight of the, the loader. And then I'm going to turn the tire to the side and put a, a bucket underneath the cylinder to catch the fluid. And then I'm going to relieve pressure on the hydraulic system after I've turned it off so all the weight's on that uh, support bracket. Then I'll uh, pull this lower pin so that I have access to the piston rod and can pull it out. And we'll just leave that one in place, no hoses to disconnect or anything like that. And then I'm going to take off this cap and to do that I need to uh, straighten out where it had been deformed to keep it from backing off. So straighten that out and stick a, I stick, I stick a pipe wrench on it and loosen up that cap nut and then I pretty much had to use the pipe wrench uh, the whole way to to turn it out just because it was tight enough I couldn't do it by hand position the bucket underneath to catch the fluid that's going to come out and lose a little bit of fluid here but most of it when the actual piston comes out when I pull on the piston rod which I don't have a good video of. I just got the tail end of pulling it out here. But it was an oily mess. And then wipe off uh, the excess so it's not dripping all over the shop floor between here and the bench. Lay it on a nice uh, clean surface. And then start disassembly. I got one end um, in the vise there so it doesn't turn when you take off this nut. And uh, I just put a half inch extension in the vise and then stuck it through the hole to hold it in place. And then this piston was a little snug coming off and I made my first mistake here. I kind of tapped on this a little with the hammer and uh, deformed the top surface a little bit. But it's not a ceiling surface or anything like that so it wasn't too big of a deal. If I had been thinking, I had to use the cap as a slide hammer and uh, used it to kind of um, pound the piston off. And here comes the cap. And then the sills we're going to replace here. The wiper sill in the end and take off the snap ring holding it in place. And then deform it with a screwdriver, get in between the surface, the race there, or whatever it seals to, and pop that out. And then on the inside, there's another seal. Pull that one out too. And then uh, an O-ring here. This one had a little bit of deformation to it as well as this static sill or ring or wiper, whatever that's called. And then on the piston, there's two sills on it. I'm going to leave those Teflon sills in place on both the cap and the piston. And those just act to kind of push against the sill uh, to help it sill as it moves up and down within the, the cylinder. You can get some numbers off a of sill, but I'm just going to take them all in, as well as the cap and the piston to the local hydraulic store. And they were nice enough to fill up all the sills, and they, because I took the cap and the piston, they just put them all on for me, which was really nice. So here's my ready cap with new sills, ready to go back on. You can just Google, you know, hydraulic repair store. You can go to the manufacturer of your tractor or whatever it is you're working on with the hydraulic ram and order specific sills but these hydraulic stores are really good at matching up stuff if you don't know part numbers or exactly what it's off of put the snap ring back in place i didn't send that over with the cap so they didn't put that on for me and then i'm um, uh, fixing where the the cap was deformed so it will screw all the way in and and uh, tighten up good
now I'm cleaning it up. I'm just flood irrigating it with uh, some transmission fluid. Clean off any dust or debris or anything that's on it. And then I'm using some trans assembly lube, transmission grease here to uh, lube it up good. It's a little bit stickier and it will it'll just melt when the system gets up to operating temperature and uh, turn into hydraulic fluid. And I'll slide this onto the rod, the cap, get it on past that first sill. The next sill is a little harder so I flip the rod upside down and push the cap down. Put the piston on. It wasn't directional, but I did pay attention and made sure I put it on the same way I took it off. Screw on the nut, tighten it up good. My impact gun. Now it's ready to clean up a little bit more and go back in the cylinder on the tractor. Got a nice clean surface to set it down on as I get ready and I'm checking out the cylinder to make sure there's no grooving or anything that would um, allow it to leak with the new seals. If it would, I guess I'd just pull the cylinder off and take it to the hydraulic store and have them um, do some kind of repair or replacement on the cylinder. cleaning up any dirt or anything I may have gotten on it and then I'm going to irrigate it one more time and grease it one more time before I put it in. Here I'm not letting it touch the floor at all. I'm keeping it suspended as I lube it up, clean it up. And it's ready to go in. Slide the piston in first. And uh, this is going to have kind of an airlock with, you know, these new seals. It's going to work real good and seal off the air, so you can't really push it in. So you get it in to where you can, and then slide the cap up into place and screw it into in there. Got the pipe wrench back on it. Snug it up good and tight, and then I'll deform the lip of the cylinder just a touch. Put the rod back into the lower pivot point with its pin. Wipe it off one more time for a good measure. Take off my support bracket, start it up, let the hydraulic system fill up that cylinder, run it for a little while, and then raise it and get it off that support bracket. Uh, lubricate this pin where it was out, get grease on it until it's coming out, squirting out, and test it out. It's working good as it should. I didn't have any problem with leaks after this. Uh, the final thing was just to make sure we're up on hydraulic fluid and didn't lose very much and still looks really good. So this is ready to go. I hope you found this useful. I appreciate you watching. I hope you like and subscribe.